All right, so real quick before we move on to concatenation, let's just clean up our variables a little bit. So what we did was we named the variables one, two, three, and four. Well, this actually isn't best practice uh, because two and true have nothing in common. Three and write whatever you want have nothing in common. So we actually want to name our variables and have them have a little bit of meaning behind them. So what we can do is change this to number value. You'll notice the V in value is capitalized. This is termed camel case, where every word following the first word, the first letter will be capitalized. So we can just do bool value. People frequently use the word bool to describe boolean. So you'll see that quite a bit. We'll do string value. And we'll do array value. Now, there's really no reason to include these comments because the name of the variables themselves are descriptive enough to explain what this is. And they always should be. You always want to have variables that are very descriptive. So let's look at concatenation really quick. And what is concatenation? Well, concatenation is basically adding together variables by simply using the addition sign. You can also uh, concat strings. You can concat a whole lot of stuff in JavaScript. Um, let me just give you a quick example. So we'll do var combine variables equals let's just go with number value now real quick before I type this whole thing in you'll notice that sublime text 3 is already providing me with the variable that I'm looking for so all I have to do is press enter it already gives it to me so when you write a variable sublime text can actually pull that up and reference it for you so it's really useful so let's go with bool value plus string value plus array value okay so we're using the addition sign to combine all three of these so let's just do a console.log combine variables there we go again pulling it up I'm gonna get rid of this other console.log too don't want it clogging up the console go back I'll clear out the console here I'll refresh and now it says 37 write whatever you want here 33 false string right so we have all of these now working together. One thing you might have noticed was that the true actually is not showing up right now. So not all values actually show up properly with concatenation. Um, not all values kind of work together well. You actually would never ever use concatenation to combine a array with a string, with a boolean, with a number. That's just not how you normally would do it. You would normally do it where like we could do number value two equals 24 we save it like that and then let's do number value 2 save it and then we'll do what could have kept that console combine variables save it refresh whoop all right actually this is a really good happenstance so we have an error in our console which is the primary way that we find errors in JavaScript. So it's telling us what the error is, unexpected token, which is this right parentheses, and it's telling us which line it's on, main.js, line 21. So let's go back into our code, and here it is right there, main.js on line 21. We do not need that at all, so we'll save it. Pull up the page again. Let's clear this out. Refresh, and there we get 36. So let me show you something else that's really cool also because you can use user input to edit your page. So we have our number value here. As you'll remember, we actually used prompt two videos ago to include uh, a name. Well, you can also do that for any value you really want. We can do, uh, you know, let's do choose a number between 1 to 100 and we'll save it. Now we have number value, which just equals 12. We have number value two, which is going to equal the user input, and then we're gonna use concatenation, or this addition sign, to add them together, and display it as a combined number in our console. So let's refresh the page. Now you notice nothing's popped up in our console yet because we don't have the user input. So let's just write 50. Now, you might be wondering right now why they didn't actually add together. Well, 
you know, because we have 12 and we have 50, and 12 plus 50 is actually 62. So there's actually a very specific reason why it did not add together. The reason is because when you use prompt, we're actually getting a string value. A little indicator of that is that our question is in quotes. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek as to what's going to be coming up in the future where you can actually edit JavaScript using special types of functions. So we have this one type of function called number, and we're going to wrap the entire prompt into a number. Okay, and what number does is it converts your string into a number. So instead of just being added together side by side, we can go back, refresh. Now I'll do 50, and then we get 62. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to go in here. I want you to create a whole bunch of new variables. I want you to test out concatenation. What's it like when you test strings added together to strings? and arrays to arrays and numbers to numbers you know give it a try see what happens and have fun with it